So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the pull with the foul. Nuno Mendes. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, I'm not sure that words can do this fella justice, Peter. Lionel Messi is one of the, the all-time greats. That's Bernardo Silva! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Over to the left. Now it's McAllister. Bernardo Silva. Shifted upfield. He's in space and looking for options. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, another save. Oh, that's a stunning save. I mean, his reflexes were incredible then. That's as good a save as you'll see. Trial Palinha. Sends it forward. Talia Fico. Montiel. But it has been just one side doing all of the early probing. Yeah, they've been livelier and hungrier and look the more likely to register first. Good spot, he's seen the run. There's no flag. Great leap! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. McAllister certainly could have and should have made more of that. João Cancelo. João Cancelo. Well, that is one way to stop him. Otamendi did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Not the most accurate pass. Rafael Leao, and it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi going face to face with his great rival. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Bernardo Silva. Now Ottavio. So a third of the match or thereabouts gone and we still await the first goal. Di Maria. That's a shade optimistic. Bruno Fernandes. That's a good run down the left. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery was... Yeah, he's fouled him there. Well, that's a booking. Always looked it. And it's Di Maria. Di Maria. And here's Messi. Messi! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. And now they can spring out of defence. Pressing is high and relentless. Bruno Fernandes. He's found a way past. And he cuts out the supply. Talia Fico.
Joao Palinha. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. And that's gone loose. Bruno Fernandes fiddles it through. And he's quick to get it clear again. Well read, nice interception. De Paul spread neatly. Now it's Martinez. And Martinez! Oh, great save, real class. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes. And the shot! It's there! Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half time. But when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tonic. Yeah, they've only got themselves to blame. Mistakes in those areas are very punishable. Argentina draw first blood here. Well, I think the managers are going to have to scrap whatever they had in mind for the half-time team talks. One has got to tone it up now and the other has to tone it down. Well, the defence proved infallible then, but that won't be the last they'll see of him. Bruno Fernandes surely had to know he had the support to his right, and if he didn't, he just needs to get his head up. Costco's in there. That was always going to be the keepers. And no, that was never going to make it. And the whistle goes for half-time. Steady, solid, and for now, where they want to be. Just one goal, and they have it. Good effort from both sides, but at half-time, it is 1-0. Well, it hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. That gets things going for the second half. Portugal need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Nuno Mendes. Pepe. And it's Cancelo. Bruno Fernandes. Played out to the right. Here's the delivery. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach and it may just freshen things up. Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. De Paul. Oh, now here's an interesting matchup. Bruno Fernandes. Otamendi calmly anticipates. Montiel. Spread out to the left. Gets away from his opponent. He's had a shot! It's a goal! Two to the good! They have breathing space! That was a given. It always was. Well, look, he moves and manufactures in unique fashion. This guy is sheer class. <laughs>
things starting to look very comfortable. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Octavio. Rafael Leao. Hit into the middle. McAllister. Now it's Martinez. Di Maria, and it's Messi, he's looking to set free a runner, and the ball is out of play. Some resolute defending there, whatever happens, that's the kind of movement which raises hope. And he's hit it long, but astray. And here's Messi. Tries a shot! They are rampant! And the lead is extended still further. Really tidily gathered, and ultimately a more than tidy finish. Well, the keeper has every right to have a moan at his defenders for that because they never got tight to the score. Simple as. Argentina find a position of real strength now. Well, that's really winded the opposition. You can see their manager screaming on the touchline, telling his team to calm down. But they'll need to do that pretty great hit. Oh, the ball's run loose here. Bruno Fernandes. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. A well played. Portugal truly seem to be at loggerheads in trying to sort this out. Is it the passing or the movement that's the problem? I think both. Di Maria. Messi proving dependable as ever. Another terrific day at the office for him. Well, having that sort of player in your side is reassuring because the rest of the team knows he can make his influence count at any stage. It's simply part of his package. When he really wants to, this fella scores. De Paul. To McAllister. Talia Fico, Messi, out to the left it goes, Messi, played out to the left flank, they've been denied a chance to develop any rhythm in the passing department, passing nice and neat, passes coming off in quick, and the finish! Out to the left it goes. Trial Palinha. Here's Rafael Leal. And the pass is intercepted. Now it's McAllister. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. McAllister, shot could be on, Alvarez! It's loose now and they want to get it back. 
It's a good foot in there. And it's been taken short. Yeah, this kind of bold running will always get you into areas of possibility. Played back in. OK, it didn't quite come off. The execution, I think, needs a retry, maybe with a better outcome. Steaming on goalwards. Shapes the shoot! He scores! Players ecstatic, fans delirious. This is utopian. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. I'm not making any apologies, but I was willing him to supply the finish, and he came up trumps. And it didn't take him long. Just sitting on the bench and waiting moments ago, already he has scored. That's just as the manager would have seen it, an impact sub. And that will be the final act. Portugal had no answer. Second best in every department and correspondingly well beaten. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Portugal could still be playing, Peter, and probably still be trying to score. It might just be causing some edginess to the camp. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin and goodbye from us. Se encontrado con el Cebes de Coche de Coruña.